Welcome back to Movie Recaps channel today I'm going to explain the movie 4x4 released in the year 2019. The movie begins with a man named Cairo walking around a neighborhood in Buenos Aires Cairo is a thug and when he notices a car of his interest he breaks into it he gets into the car and steals its stereo in the overhead compartment Cairo finds a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses and pockets them he still isn't satisfied violating the car and he forcefully clenches his butt to squeeze out a fart he finally feels that his work is done and he proceeds to leave but lo and behold the door doesn't open he tries the other three doors but none of them open left with no choice he is forced to move over to the back seat where he attempts to get the car's trunk to open when he fails to do so he finally begins to panic and he desperately tries to break the car's window but without success however there Season thug refuses to give up and he dismantles the inner part of the car's door he then squeezes his hand inside the door and tries to open it but only to hurt himself badly he begins bleeding but the car door doesn't open after all fails Cairo pulls out his gun and shoots at the front window but the bullets bounce off and pierce into his thighs Cairo screams in extreme pain profusely bleeding. Cairo takes off his shirt and wraps it around the wound so far Cairo was avoiding being seen but after having shot himself in the foot he tries to get the attention of someone on the outside to help him get out of the car even if it meant he would go to jail luckily a woman appears outside the car and begins to fix her makeup using the car window Cairo tries to ask her for help but it appears that the woman outside the car can't see Cairo inside he yells at her but the woman leaves without flinching Cairo tries to call his wife but before the call could go through the phone's battery dies. Several hours pass by and Cairo falls asleep Jiro wakes up the next day extremely thirsty he is run out of water and he is forced to lick the fog from the window out of desperation later he takes out the car stereo from his bag and puts it back to listen to the radio the radio plays his favorite song and he gets lost in the music forgetting about his troubles even if for a brief moment although the song is a raunchy number about having intercourse in the car it coincidentally describes Cairo's situation it talks about foggy windows reclined seats and doing it all night for some reason there Song gives him the motivation to attempt opening the door again and he gets it it as he repeatedly hits the door with a tool a phone starts to ring it is the car's stereo Cairo answers the call and a man speaks from the other end the man introduces himself as Dr. Enrique Ferrari and welcomes Cairo in the car Enrique continues that he is the owner of the SUV and he has been robbed 28 times in his Life he adds that Cairo is the 29th thief that has tried to steal from him the revelation enrages Cairo and he demands to be freed but Enrique tells him to shut up and listen Enrique then continues that he calls his car 4x4 which has an alarm that's connected to his phone using which Enrico can lock all the doors to the car it is bulletproof it can't be moved from inside because of active Suspension it is also soundproof moreover the windows including the front windshield are all polarized the only thing that's not bulletproof is the gas tank which can hold 120 liters of fuel and it is full at the moment Enrique warns him that the full gas tank is a potential bomb and in case he tries something funny the car could explode along with him as Cairo hears in disbelief Enrique continues that he is a widower who was born in Kielmas 60 years ago he had a normal childhood for a middle class child at the time the doors to his houses were never locked Enrique says that the current life is in such a bad state right now that he misses the life he had when he was a child he asked Shiro what he would do if he caught his son stealing however Cairo has had enough and he threatens to report Enrique to the police Cairo orders Enrique to release him so he can kill him and all of his family however before Cairo could finish the phone hangs up afterwards Enrique turns on 
The air conditioner and takes it to the lowest temperature to torture the thief Jiro tries to turn off the AC but without success left with no choice Shiro takes off his shirt from his wound and wears it to stop his foot from bleeding he tears a part of his jeans and wraps it around his wound after torturing the thief for a good hour Enrique again calls him and again asks him what he would do if he Caught his son stealing he tells him that he will give him water if he answers the question correctly Cairo answers the question but it doesn't satisfy Enrique Cairo pleads with him to stop saying that he has learned his lesson but Enrique could care less and he again tells Cairo about an incident he reveals that last December two men broke into his daughter's home when she was parking her car. Enrique reveals that he trained his daughter for situations like this she always avoids making eye contact and always has money prepared to hand out however the training wasn't enough and the robbers put a gun to Enrique's grandsons for three hours however Cairo is not interested in Enrique's stories and questions him what kind of a doctor deprives a wounded person of water Enrique commends him for the question and asks him to guess the kind of doctor he is before hanging up as Cairo brainstorms a police car arrives and stops in front of his SUV Shiro is again filled with hope and he tries to get the attention of the policeman but the policeman gives the SUV a ticket instead and leaves several hours later Enrique calls again and asks Shiro his full name and his id number in exchange for Water after Cairo complies Enrique guides him to the water in the washer hose in the back the water is light blue in color but a dehydrated Cairo could care less and gulps down the water breathing a sigh of relief however Cairo is still hungry and without food so he is almost forced to eat one insect that has somehow made its way into the car later Jiro checks his wound and learns that it's Turning yellow and he also has a fever Enrique decides to give him a break and he turns on the AC for Cairo so he could cool down and reveals that he is also sick Enrique is dying of cancer and the doctors have told him that he has got a year to live as Enrique continues to blabber Cairo takes off his clothes and passes out Cairo's body has also turned yellow later Cairo goes through the car. Manual looking for a way to escape but only to eat its page in sheer desperation and frustration Cairo is really at his lowest point and he pisses in a container and drinks his own piss to quench his thirst suddenly things look great for Cairo when a burglar tries to break into the SUV giving him hope however the thief is spotted by passerby and they beat him up and hand him to the police soon there. Night falls and dehydration and hunger turns him into a philosopher he notes how a small percentage of people have so many things that need to be distributed so everyone can enjoy them he further adds that the world is full of poor people with laws made by rich people for rich people Cairo claims that he will not obey them even if they gun him down he reveals that's why he became a thief just like his father and grandfather the next day Enrique calls him again and reads him the newspaper Enrique says that he is in a good mood so he guides him to a hidden chocolate bar behind the brakes after spending all day resting and observing the people in the neighborhood Cairo again repeatedly strikes on one of the doors he managed to strip down to its metal part from the inside eventually he manages to create a small hole in the door that opens outside he screams through the tiny hole to attract someone's attention but without success Enrique later calls and reveals that he has contacted Cairo's family hearing his family's name Cairo tears up and warns Enrique against harming them he then tearfully asks what he did to him to deserve this however Enrique doesn't stop and he pulls out Shiro's criminal record and reveals that Shiro has killed a person before a tearful Chiro denies having killed anyone Enrique has receipts and he reveals that Shiro broke into the home of the Salerno brothers in Barakas to rob them but they tried to fight back and Shiro shot them with his gun Enrique also brings up an old bus driver that Shiro badly beat up however Gyro still refuses to take 
responsibility and blames the driver for not letting him rob the passengers he says that he made mistakes and he has already paid for them later Cairo charges his phone with solar power and calls his wife but the call goes straight to voicemail in the voicemail he confesses to his wife everything and apologizes for messing up again after crying his eyes out Cairo plays with the car's start button and manages to turn it on apparently it can only be started without a key after pressing it a certain number of times he puts on the seat belt and places the gear in reverse mode however the gear gets stuck in reverse mode and he is forced to drive in reverse he speeds the car and crashes it to a pole to attract people's attention fortunately the airbag activates on time and he doesn't sustain any Injury Cairo is finally able to kick down the weakened rear window and escape he is in extreme pain but he manages to drag himself to a nearby gas station eatery where he helps himself to some food as he relishes every bite of his food the eatery's manager orders him to pay for the food and leave immediately this enrages Cairo and he shoots the manager Cairo then wakes from his sleep and he realizes that he was dreaming and he is still stuck in the car Enrique calls again and Shiro threatens to commit suicide but it fails to phase the former fed up Shiro puts his gun to his mouth and pulls the trigger but the gun gets stuck Enrique laughs at the thief's misery and asks him to look in front of the car finally revealing himself Enrique gets in the car with him Cairo is extremely Fatigued and he doesn't even have the energy to escape Enrique tends to Cairo's wound and afterwards gets distracted in a work call as Cairo seemingly falls asleep just then Cairo unsuccessfully tries to shoot the deranged doctor and jumps out of the car he is finally out and he fires a shot in the air to call for help however Enrique again gets to him and tries to drag him back to the SUV -er. Policewoman spots the two and orders the doctor to drop the gun two hours pass by people media and police have surrounded the area but Enrique refuses to let Shiro go saying he is the victim of the thief after all fails the police call retired negotiator Julio Armadillo who asked the doctor what he wants Enrique then lists a range of problems that he faces every day that the government doesn't do anything about because at least no one got hurt Enrique says while walking to his office he has to avoid 2,000 dog poops on the street because the dog owners don't clean after their pets when no one's looking the public resonate with Enrique and they cheer for him Julio refuses to give up and continues to talk to Enrique and eventually convinces him to let Shiro go the police arrest Shiro and Julio asks Enrique to surrender but he gets in his car after placing a timer on top of his car Julio suspects that it's a bomb and orders everyone to back up the SUV explodes killing Enrique but not before igniting a fire in every commoner's heart that was all from the video I hope you liked it subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out also leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie until next time take video